Hi everyone, I'm going to finish this picture off for you all today. Basically what I'm going to do is I've, I've actually looked at the video again and I've found out that instead of the logs going down, like I've done them there, the logs actually go vertically, they go lengthways. So I'm going to redo that, but at least you get to see me do it again anyway. And then we're going to put the moss on the roof and then reflect that down into the water now. Because we're going to reflect that into the water, First of all, before I start, I'm just going to get a clean brush, just a little tiny round brush, and I've got some linseed oil. Now, this has been over a few days I've done this painting, so if you notice now, it's actually dried. Yeah? All over this wet area is dried. So I'm just going to get a small amount of linseed oil, tiny amount. And I'm just going to liberally put a very small amount over the surface. So we'll a little bit of liquid white on that part there was. Not a problem. Just generally blend it over there. That's it. Put a little bit of that linseed oil on so we can still put a, a few little things on this water. And then just make sure you've got some in there because that's going to be quite thick. Reflect the cabin down into the water there. I've got a hair that's dried in there, so I'll just pull that out. There. That's good. So, I want to actually zoom in a bit closer for you guys. For this, because the cabin's quite detailed. I think if we're about... There, we should be somewhere near. Right then, I'm going to get on with it. Same colour as I used for the cabin before, which was, can you remember? Black, midnight black, mixed with Van Dyke brown. Just a bit more brown than black. You sometimes put a tiny bit of yellow ochre in with this as well and that works well. It really does. This is fine enough for now. I've used this so I'm going to stick with it. I'm just going to get that dark. And then I'm just going to block in some dark again. Over the top. There's no door on the side. I found that out. So I'm going to redo that area. There's a door there but there shouldn't be a door there. So, I want it to be right. So the logs will go sideways this time. Just hope the texture on the canvas don't cause me any trouble. That's why I'm putting this brown back on again. Hopefully it'll be thick enough so that when I highlight over the top of it, it'll still stand out. Don't want to lose that edge that I've got there. Most people would be distraught at having to do this. They just say, oh, it's right, I'll do it other way. No, I can't do it. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't. I know the logs go that way. So it's got to actually be as it is. I'm just giving myself an indication there by tapping into the actual paint I've just put on the dark colour. Now, with this area, I can just touch because the, the logs want that defined actually. I can touch them with that. But like they've just got little dark parts in between and it makes the logs look like they are actually going that way. So, uh, just indications, don't overdo it. If you go over the door, that's not a problem because we can just come back and do that. Just want a bit, and then logs in just there. Let's get a bit more of the brown again. Just going to pull that here and there over the door. Still want it pretty dark, you see, in there. You wouldn't really see much of the door. This is going to be the light area. Just 
just going to put a little bit just under there, under that window. That will allow me to just come along and touch like just put some indications. Right, some white, titanium white. Mix that with a brown. Marble. That's how it wants to be, marble. Put across that. I hope you can see all this. And then just here and there. And where from there? I'm gonna put some indications, some little blobs and stuff in there. That's it. Reload, get a bit more white. Again, make it marble. Put across. I don't want this too light, I actually want it to mix with the brown underneath. Highlight a bit brighter here and there. You can actually run through sometimes. That can make a nice effect. I'm sure we're going to get some people who say that it looked better how it was before, but that's just the way things go. I didn't want to change it, but it had to be good. It had to be true to life. I'm just going to blend that in a bit more. There. And show you another way. Because it's actually not looking 100% how I want it to. See, I've just mixed it together again. Just get another ridge of paint now. A tiny bit more brown in with that. Put across that. And then just go in again and just highlight a few certain areas for these locks. Old rustic cabin. Still there now is this cabin. People spending holiday breaks and stuff in there. Is anyone out there who's actually been to this cabin? Come on, there's a shout. You've got to. Now, you see how I've got the light on? Now I'm starting to get the light on. All I'll do now is I'll just come back, put a few knobs on the ends of the thing there. I've left that window off because that's not too bad. Clean my knife off. Just going to get a tiny bit of brown. I just want to keep this edge, in fact I'll use a small part of the knife, just want to keep this edge here, don't want that to go over there, that's where the end of the logs are, you can just get a small part of the knife sometimes and just touch the ends of the logs. Highlight them. 